Hello guys, it's the Gaming Corner here, and today we'll be playing a game called Hungry Lamu. It starts off with a very cartoony animation style where Lamu is hungry and is tasked to eat fruit by this mysterious character named the narrator. Soon enough, things take a turn where everything is not what it seems. So please sit back and enjoy the video as I play the game and go through all three endings of the story. Thank you. Hello, Lamu. Got a narrator. You had a good nap, didn't you? Oh dear, it looks like somebody's hungry. Let's go find some food for that big stomach of yours, Lamu. Alright. We got some books. Lamu's favorite book. If only Lamu can still read. He, he could read before. What well, I mean, could still. Like eating his fruits. Wow, everything is so green and colorful. Isn't it a beautiful day, Lamu? Let's find some cherries to put in that stomach of yours. Okay, we gotta eat three cherries. Those look like... Oh, okay, I guess they're cherries, even though they look like blueberries. Hopefully they're not poisonous, Lamu. Yum! Weren't those cherries delicious? But Lamu is still hungry. Cherries are not enough for Lamu's stomach. Oh, what's that? Well, isn't it a cute little banana? A live banana? Lambo loves fruits. I'm sure this banana wouldn't mind helping Lambo. Let's go meet this banana, Lambo. But but the banana is alive. You're about to eat a live creature. Is this even a place where they could have bananas? What's this? We could take a rock. That's interesting how you carry it by your teeth. Hello, banana. Hello, little banana. Growling like a dog. Oh dear. Looks like I was wrong. The banana is very selfish and doesn't want to help Lambo. We'll need to make the banana sleep so that Lambo could have a delicious meal. Sleep, uh oh. Oh, we gotta hit a banana with a rock. Sorry, banana. Okay, that looked like blood. What a hearty meal. I'm sure that banana didn't mind. I think it did. Despite its sour attitude, it tasted very sweet. However, there's still some space in Lambo's big stomach. Oh, what's that, Lamu? It's a bunch of fruit friends. We don't see a lot of them around here. The fruit should be enough to fill up Lamo's stomach. Looks like they're camping. I don't think they really want us to eat them. Let's go say hi to them, Lamo. Eat three fruit friends. You don't eat friends, Lamo. That's not right. See, they're running away from you. They don't want you. Looks like they want to play a game. I don't think that's a game, narrator. Just like the other fruit friends we met in the past. How fun! Come on, Lamu. Let's find our new friends so we can have some of your delicious fruits. There's an axe up here. That's not turning into good. That's not good. We get smashed in the car. Now they have no reason to escape. Yay. Oh, there's the other person right here. Guess we gotta cut him down. Hello, Orange. <laughs> Whoa, that was a high fall. Did you know oranges give you tons of energy? <laughs> Have mine. Maybe next time you'll be able to climb a tree, too. Bye-bye, Orange. Oh, who's this? I only saw three, but there's one guy here. Guess I can't do anything to you. Alright. Oh, there's fire. I guess we could go get the other guy now. It's not nice setting your friends on fire, but I guess in this point, sure. Hi, Pear. That's hot, hot, hot. Oh, jeez. Couldn't you try something less burning? Well, I hope you'll like burn Pear because it's all yours. Yum, yum, yum. Weren't your fruit friends just delicious, Lamu? What a great day playing with friends, eating delicious fruits, and having such fun. Today was a marvelous day, wasn't it, Lamu? Oh? What's that, Lamu? You're still hungry? I guess Lamu's still hungry. 
What the hell? Something like Tasha. I told them not to make such so much ruckus. Let's see what they're up to. Okay, W H to move. Oh, we got a flashlight, and we have running powers. Oh, look at our little arm. <laughs> I'm guessing this person was the one that we couldn't get behind the tree. Oh, and the, the sprint runs out. Get okay, interrupt the fire. Where did they all go? Where's Mochi? Mochi, where are you, girl? She couldn't have run off too far. Uh, poor girl. Oh, there's Mochi. Oh, poor dog. Dang. M Mochi? What the hell? Who did this? Poor girl. Whichever you did this, this is messed up. Tasha, Ken, Leon, where the hell are you guys? Guess now we have to find the other ones. Or what's left of them, at least. Oh, I know where that fa what that fate is. Oh no, which one is this? No, <coughs> head. Holy! I don't even recognize him. He's burnt to crisp. What the hell is going on? Three. Man, ooh. Oh God, Tasha. She must have twisted her leg in the tree. What the hell did this to her? I had one guess. Mm. I'm gonna be sick. Why are there so many damn bees? Who did this to you, Ken? I had to get out of here. I need to get to the car. Well, the thing is, I don't think your car can really work anymore. But I guess we could try. They ain't move like right there. The car's busted? Who the hell is doing this? I could give you one guess. It's Lamu. Okay, that kind of scared me. Jeez. Okay, so there's three endings. I guess we're gonna try to get the other two. Lamu ate everybody. Let's see if we could escape. Just drive and do not look back. You couldn't just ram through them? Eh, oh well. Okay, we got like a paper now. Oh, this was set in 2002. You guys could read the rusty if you guys really wanted to. Now let's see what that other ending is. I'll be back. Is this a cursed cave they keep talking about? Better safe in there than out here. Don't know if that's true, considering all of this. But alright. There's a lot of skulls. That thing is tinted red. Even more over here. And here's some books. Only I think that's supposed to say Larry. This book belonged to Larry. So maybe that's what Lemu's name was before? Lemu is hungry. Dad is a monster. Mom... It's just mom and kids now sad. It's a new day. Everybody's waking up. Lama sees the sunshine and wakes up with a big yawn. It's a daily routine for this young animal to wake up well rested at the break of dawn. Rumble, rumble, Lama's stomach growls. Look like Lama's hungry for some fresh food. Oh dear me, it's the time to go. Lama said, time for some breakfast. I sure hope it's good. Lama leaves his home, whistling as he walks, thinking that the adventurer to find his meal. Tweet, tweet, toot, 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 tweet, he whistles gleefully. Overwhelming euphoria is what he truly feels. Burp. Oh, how rude of me, Lama says. What a delicious fruit. Truly really tasty. Lama pats himself, satisfied with his feast. Now he has to head home. Best not to be lazy. Lama walks back home. Belly very full. He reaches his home just when the moon rose. He entered the door with a smile on his face, but what he saw next made him struck pose. He doesn't have a home no more. Dr. Bronze exposed as fraud. Dr. Eric Bronze, well known for his studies on interspecies genetics fusion, has recently been exposed for fraud, as his most recent studies and fundings were proven to be falsified. You could read the rest if you guys want. After a long day and a fun time, Lama head to bed. 
he tucked himself into his warm blanket, he thought to himself, What a fun day. Reminiscing about tomorrow's banquet. The end. What the hell is going on? Ugh. Murder at Bronze Residence. If you guys want to read this entire thing, just pause the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and check out some of my other videos that you might enjoy. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!